Hello everybody and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we're going to be doing our second episode of rental trucking here. We're in our, with our T680 uh, first gen um, Kenworth here with the Conway livery rental truck um, here with Conway. Uh, we're picking up a load, a trailer, uh, which is that Schneider trailer, that blue trailer over there, which is across the street. We're picking up that, and we're heading to, uh, I think, the Grand Canyon Village. So that's where our plan is for today. It should be a fantastic drive. We are going to pick up another trip as well once we're in the Grand Canyon Village village maybe go to Kayenta or um, Page or um, Durango or something uh, we'll have to see what they have at, uh, at the depot but let's hop into this magnificent truck uh, and get onto the road here this should be pretty fun let me uh, Tune until the end of the video so I can show you, like, the, uh, if you guys want to tune in. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you guys love this type of, uh, uh, series here that I'm making. Should be pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to create, trying to create new ideas here on the channel. Um, I know I haven't been posting lately, and, um... It's just been super hectic and stuff. I'm trying to get everything under control. and um, But, yeah, that's where I stand. But we're at the Super Mart here at the Walmart here. Um, that's a cool blue Mustang. Um, and stuff like that. But then we have the cafe snacks. Somebody's cleaning the thing. Um, but let's hop into the truck and, uh, get onto the road so we don't lose that magnificent run over there. So, let's hop up into the cab here. Alright. So, let's try this thing up. Get onto the road here. Hop on in. So, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Um... Lots have happened. Let's put this thing in the gear. We're already in gear. Um, last time in the first episode, we dropped off here from um, Yuma to uh, Kingman. So that was a fantastic trip. I love this type of truck. It's underpowered a little bit, but it has some potential and torque to it so but we're just keeping it semi-realistic as possible but that Schaefer trailer is what we're picking up here put that into neutral I think we're picking up that could be wrong um, yeah it's the Schaefer truck trailer right there so It's the Schaefer trailer that we have. so let's go and pick that thing up. We're we are in a day cab, so we have plenty of room to work with. Use every inch of this yard that we have to our um, to our needs because we are pretty small. But I think it should be perfectly fine, and we hit the kingpin perfectly. So far, so good. Let's hop on out. This paint job looks so amazing. Super cool. But if you guys do love this series, comment down below if you guys want to see like a new truck that we could save our, our money for. Right now, we have the T680 uh, second gen. I went with the Kenworth. Um, but let me know if you guys want me to go with a Peterbilt. Um, and stuff like that. And also, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite truck mod 
is in the uh, description, so uh, in the comments as well. So let's looks amazing. It's a reefer. Um, and it's uh, I think a Vanguard. No, it's just Schmitties. So Schmitties or something like that. I don't even know. Let's get. Oh, we always put this thing into neutral. Every time. I'm gonna be a wonderful trucker. Well, no, let's keep our hazards on until we get out of the yard. The thing is, they do need to expand the yards here in American Truck Simulator, so. In some cases, not all cases, but if you have a day cap, it should be easy for. Um, um, but if you have like a s sleeper plus the 50 foot trailer or a um, legacy trailer or leg legacy trailer, legacy sleeper uh, plus a 50 foot trailer, like that's hard to get into. Um, so. But I do love this engine. We're using a Cummins, I think, IX X Drive or something like that. Six Drive. I forgot who the modder is, but it is a mod pack. So it's a Cummins IX Six Drive or something like that. I don't even know, but it has like 70. 750 horsepower? Why aren't we going? We just missed that light. Don't know what's happening. Looks like there is a car crash up ahead. We're just gonna casually. Yep! Yep. Man, that sucks to suck. That sucks to suck. Cascadia hit us. Sinkhole. That sucks. Really much sucks. That would just stink. Just imagine getting off of the highway or about to deliver your load. Um, and all of a sudden the ground buckles and you get stuck. At the, your destination, that would stink. All right, we're gonna right lane gang this thing. We only have like three hours and twenty-five minutes to get there, so it should be a fairly decent trip. And then we have another trip. This may be a longer video than normal. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll see. We may be doing one, we may be doing two. Get up to speed um, once we get there. Uh, but I do love this truck. And we could also trade it in if you guys want me to. But we're going. Conway. Let's see how much we make. But right now we're just conquering Arizona. Going to the Grand Canyon. Yeehaw. I do want that car hauler. But, uh, I, 
3D modding um, car hauler. I don't want that thing. I want that truck. It does not work. The trailers do not work for that thing. I have no idea why. They just don't. And the truck works. Customize the truck. But you can't haul anything with the trailer. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that, but. The truck looks amazing. The loads look amazing. Um, customize the cars, all different cars and stuff. JB Hunt truck we're going to be passing here. I think it is. Is it an intermodal? Interpolable? Inter. Inter. Inter oh, well. oh. It's, it's the JB Hunt truck. Be careful, Mr. Mac. Don't get sucked into any sinkholes. That would just stink. Yeah, I would hate to drive through this double trailers. Knock on wood in this series we don't get one of those because we'll get stuck if we hit something. Hopefully we do. Do do not. So far we've put 300 miles on this day cab, so trucks pretty fresh, pretty new. Ash fork. Ash fork. And another thing is we've been I've been playing a lot of Forza Motorsport. Pretty much undefeated over there. Really good. That game. Really good. Not as good as this game. This carrier truck. Do you have to go to the flags? We're almost there. We are almost there. We got a lot of stuttering going on. stutters. It's probably because of it's loading in um, Flagstaff. That's good. Not as bad. job on this truck. It's not liking. Mm. 
maybe it's the trailer itself. I think it's the trailer that we're hauling. Because we were, when we were driving around in the day cab without the trailer, it's been like perfectly fine. I'll have to see what's up with that. It's, it, it's really bad right now. Really bad. It seem it this bad. Maybe it's Flagstaff itself. It's probably the Schaefer trailer that we're carrying. It would suck if it is. It's a beautiful, well rounded trailer. Yeah, that is really bad. Right now it's probably fine, but when we're moving it's like, the game wants to shit itself to oblivion. Pardon my language, but I see that. See, once we move it's going to start glitching. Don't do it, copper. Just patrolling flag stuff. So, uh, in other news, my rear wing fell off from my car, so I have to replace that. That's a sick Kenworth. I like that red on that moving truck. But yeah, like, this happened like a few months ago. It wasn't really that recent. But uh, my rear wing fell off. It's in the back of my trunk. Um, but, um, but yeah, I was on the highway and it was just peeling off. So I ripped it off and then put it back down. But I went to my first car show. Uh, I didn't want to enter my car into the car show not yet. But. Um, Went to my very first car show in a while. Um, saw some amazing cars. Some older cars and stuff like that. Hopefully, next, next time we'll enter my car into car show and see what happens but so far car is coming along great we do have to put the rear wing back on um, it didn't peel off anything so that's good enough to paint so. Patrol doing up here. Hey, patrolling for the Grand Canyon. There's another JB Hunt trailer in front of us. Good. There's an X XPO Logistics truck. Sort of. Uh, 
got in front of the JB Hunt truck, I think. Yep, there's the JB Hunt trailer truck. There should be a cop behind. Whoops, I got. Well, let me know what you guys think of this uh this paint job on this truck. I just think it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it matches so well with the Schaefer trailer, the Reefer that we're taking. It's just a, such a good looking truck. So, what are we taking? Yogurt, 40,000 pounds to the Dollar Tree. There are plenty of times. Grand Canyon National Park. Take a look at that. Grand Canyon Village. And there's the Dollar Tree right in front of us. Dropped. Oh, check that out. Check. Okay. I know in real life you want to jump out of your truck, but check this livery out. The Crown Vic. Kukan New County. That is a beautiful paint job. Wow. Even the brakes are modeled. Yeah, that's a, that is something else. Uh, we made it. What is that trailer? It's an XP Logistics trailer with a light uh, leasing trailer on the back. Good job on the back, that's so funny. Alright, we've made it to the Dollar Tree. Let's see if the cop car is coming. There's the JB Hunt truck. There's the cop car behind it. Wow, no. Where do they want us? Dockside. Of course they do. Right there. We can do that. We have enough room to get both side. What just happened? Interesting. This looks absolutely amazing. Gotta love it. I 
I go on in just like that. Wait until the ding. Perfect. Check that out. It's the drop. Good. 196 miles. Oh, uh, would you look at that? A double trailer. Oh, wait, did we take it? Oh, shoot. Well. What did I say in this video? About taking a double trailer. Let's try not take a double trailer. Lord and behold, guess what we're taking? A double trailer. This time we're going to, I think, uh, Holbrook, so. It did have a job for us. It's right behind here. It's a swift trailer. Taking doubles. Did I say in the beginning of this video when we saw that Cascadia with the doubles? I hope we don't take doubles! <laughs> Backfired on me. But even the reefer doubles look absolutely freaking amazing with this truck paint job. So sick. Alright, let's get this thing in the gear. Let's. Where are we heading? We're taking empty pallets to show with 210 miles. So. Bye, Schaefer. Trailer. Hello. Swift doubles. And we're dropping off at the UPS. So it should be working out for us. Should be good. We're going this way. Cars coming that way? Nope. Cars coming that way. As long as we don't get hit by any sinkholes, we should be perfectly fine. I got wood. Let's try not getting hit by sinkholes. Wow, it actually backfired on us. I'm dying right now. Said no doubles. But we're digging doubles. That's okay. As long as we don't find any sinkholes. Speed. We're good. I love this series. I've been enjoying this. This is the episode two. Episode one was pretty uh, iffy, if I had to be honest. But Got a whole bunch of new truck mods and stuff, paint jobs. So, if you guys want a brand new truck here on the series of uh, here on the series, check that out. There's Onion Highway Patrol. Sloop. I don't know if you guys watched that, uh, that guy, Officer Sloop. Pino Pani, I think it's called. Right, uh, Fridays with Frank. 
I watched that guy. Super good cop. Gotta be honest. get in front of this doubles guy. Sam's Club, it's just like a Costco. Opposite way that we can. So we're coming in from the east to the west. Okay, we're going from the west to the east. From we came from the west heading east. We did a full loop around the uh, flagstaff. Flagstaff or something Flagstaff that the game does not like. But right now we're fine. Very strange. Indeedly strange. How long is this light, man? There we go.
Alaska, uh, Flagstaff. I think we're going to go from Cobra to uh, head through Cobra to show you. Here goes Cobra. Flagstaff, Holbrook, Shola. I'm Shola, so this should be a cool down button. This is the truck. So we're pretty much going through Holbrook to get to Shallow. We're getting off here. Getting off of here, this exit. So we should be pretty close. We're closing in. We're one minute out from Shallow. Should be pretty cool on a down. Just kind of 
cars here in Holbrook. Holbrook is a cute little town. I've been through it in real life. It's cute. I like it. Route 66. It's on Route 66. Cute little box truck. Thirty minutes out from our trip, closing in on Sholo. Have not been to Sholo, so this should be hopefully a cute little town. It's like Holbrook. Never been passed through a few times, but I've never been able to Sholo. So hopefully. There's the power grid. Got a truck stop. Truck wash over there looks closed. One side looks to be open, but the other one's closed. Okay. My seating. Let's see more. I think 
truck wash side is open. Nope, it's both points. Tesla dealership. Car dealership. No trailers. No loads. Interesting. Looks like all the dealerships just died. This is a nice lengthy turning lane. Let's take too long in this game. Drives me absolutely crazy. Burger King double Cute little diner right there. Like construction. Perfect. What a fun trip that was. Drop the trailer. Show up the engine. 211 miles. Almost to that level 15. Entrepreneur. It's a single, no, it's a double. Going back to Grand Canyon and take that. else in the freight market in Sholo. Albuquerque. So we have two. Interesting. Well, anyway guys, that is going to do it here with this episode of rental truck trucking um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this here on the channel. Uh, pretty fun 
stuff. We did a double delivery today. Um, so, pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off. So, two deliveries in one day. Um, pretty longer video or a longer episode. Um, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for tuning in. If you guys did like this content or want to see more of this right here on the channel or more of the series, uh, comment down below, subscribe, share, and uh, support the American Truck Simulator content over here. Um, once again, I haven't been posting. I've been working with some things, but should be getting up to normal soon. Um, yeah, I've been dealing with a lot, so I'm trying to get that under control. And that's the reason why I also haven't been posting, because I'm taking some time off trying to recuperate myself. But, um, but yeah, so far everything's fine right now. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next episode. Peace.